My pappy said, son, you're going to drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. Welcome back to Solus Innovations YouTube channel. On today's episode, we me install a set of our 65 to 72 replacement cab mounts. To do this project, there's a couple of things you're going to need. Obviously, you'll need your Solus Innovations cab mount. You'll need to pick up some half-inch bolts with lock washers and nuts. You'll need, you'll need eight of those, by the way. And you'll need four... 3 8 bolts with lock washers and nuts also. As far as tools go, you'll want some hearing protection. You'll want a grinder or a cutoff wheel of some sort. Makes it getting those rivets out a lot easier. Uh, you'll want an air chisel or a hammer and chisel to knock the heads of the rivets off. Sometimes you can knock the rivet out with just this. Um, in my experience, a lot of times it's more of a pain to do just that. And then you'll need a punt, hammer and punch or a hair hammer to get the rivet out the rest of the way. You'll also want a wire wheel to go with that grinder so you can clean the rust and existing paint off of the frame at, when you get all this apart. And then you'll want a drill with a half inch drill bit to drill those holes out. Now that we've got all the tools acquired, let's get this job started. So to start with, there's a few rivets you gotta remove. To hold the cab mount on one here, one here, a rivet here, and two rivets on this side. And then you'll have this one bolt here. Now, you don't have to remove your cab to do this. Uh, we just so happen to have a bare chassis here already. So, we'll be using this chassis for a few different install videos. But, as you can see, it rusted out pretty good. So, follow along and get, show you the steps to get this removed. A couple of ways to tackle this. Um, you know, everybody has their preferred method. You can take your cutoff wheel, and you can cut a X plus, whatever you want to call it, in the rivet head. And you can use your air chisel to knock the rivet head off. You can grind the rivet head off this way. Um, a lot of times if you have a decent enough air hammer, air chisel, you can just chisel the head of that rivet right off and then knock it out with an air hammer. Let's give it a shot with the air chisel. Bit. As you can see, the air chisel didn't work for us this time. Let's get the grinder out and get these things knocked out. Now that we have all our rivet heads cut off, most of them knocked out, we'll get this last one knocked out and get the cab mount off. And just like that, our factory cab mount's gone. Now that you got that factory cab mount off, let's throw that one in the scrap pile. A few things you wanna do before you go any further. So you want to take and you want to coat your cab mount with some sort of rust preventative paint, whether it be Pour 15 or Rust-Oleum, just something, some type of rust barrier in between this and your frame. And before you do your frame, I'm going to get you a drill with a half inch drill bit and you want to drill these side holes out because you're going to be putting half inch bolts back in there. Now that you've got all of those drilled out, you can move on to wire wheel in this frame. You know, get this cleaned up pretty good. Get as much of this rust and stuff dirt off of there as you can. And then you want to coat your frame rail underneath where your cab's going with the same rust preventative stuff as you put on your cab mount. Uh, we're not going to do that with ours right now because we're going to be using this chassis for another install video coming up next. So for now, we're just going to move on to the next step. Once you have all that done, you're going to get your cab mount. Make sure you get the correct one for each side. Just line your bolt holes up, slip your bolts in. You're going to need half inch bolts with either lock nuts or a lock washer and a nut. And all your holes will bolt right up, or line right up, rather. You get four half inch bolts in the sides, and then it's two three eighths bolts on the top. 
once you get all those, don't tighten anything up until you get all your bolts in. Once you get all your bolts in and you can tighten those down, like I said, we're not going to tighten ours up because we're going to be using this chassis for another install video here so, here very shortly. Um, but once you get all that tightened up, you're, you're pretty much done. Set your cab back down, put your bushing in, tighten her up, you're ready to go. And just that simple, job's complete. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next video. Have you heard the story of the hot rod race with the Fords and Lincolns was setting the pace?